categories. We've got the reigning European world and Paralympic champion in this from Belgium, Peter Gennon, the former world and Paralympic champion and former mayor in Nezahul Kutil, Edgar Cesare Navarro, and the eight-time major championship winner from Italy, Davidi as well. So first major championship for Ernesto Fonseca of Costa Rica in lane seven. Elder Mestre of Portugal in lane six. Fifth in the 100 and 400 in the Europeans of Grosseto last year. Now the man who's the reigning European world and Paralympic champion of over 100 and 400 metres for Belgium, Peter Kennett, former rugby international for Belgium also. The former world and Paralympic champion going back to 02 and 04 for Mexico, Edgar Cesaro Navarro, and a former mayor of his home city. It's a World Cup city, as a Royal Cotil back in 86. Six-time Paralympic champion, seven if you include swimming, going back to Seoul 88 for Italy, Alvisa Davidi. And the former Paralympic and World Discus champion, silver in the 100 metres in Rio, bronze in the 100 in Doha two years ago at the last Worlds, Mohamed Becquerel of Algeria. Six in this final. Gennon has set all the major championship records, world and championship, in the last two major finals. The Mexican attempting a little bit of a turnover here. So my first time in this men's 400 meters T51 and I do repeat that it's the most affected, the most impaired of the wheelchair racing categories. Genin getting off to the best start of Belgium, he really is in a class of his own when it comes to the T51s. There he goes on the far side with Navarro Sanchez moving up into second place and Berakal of Algeria on the inside, coming up into third, but with a stagger, perhaps now is second, but there's no doubting that Genin is our leader at this stage. When he was a rugby international, he helped Belgium to fifth place in the Europeans in 2013, the best World Cup finish, seventh in 2010. But when it comes to wheelchair racing, he has been marvellous. Gold in the one and the four, in Rio, in the Paralympic Games in 2016, in Grisetto at the Europeans last year and in Doha at the last World Championships. But now he's got a fight in his hands. It's Berahal who's moving up. Berahal of Algeria hitting the front ahead of Genin. They're into the final 50 metres. It's Berahal in front. Does Genin have anything left for Belgium? Berahal wins gold for Algeria. Genin in second place. Navarro Sanchez is in third, Mestre in fourth for Portugal. And the former World and Paralympic discus champion has converted to wheelchair racing. And Mohamed Barahal is the new world champion and it's a championship record. 1.21.45 gets the gold for Algeria. Well, that was an astonishing turnaround, really. Genin well in control, but he has lost his world title. Barajal was fourth in the 400 metres final in Rio. Navarro Sanchez had got off to a good start and was the only challenger for Genin for a while, but then Barajal overtook him and then overtook Genin close to the line. A lot can happen in a T51 race over 400 metres. And that's been proven there. Berahal wins, Genin in second place, and Navarro Sanchez the bronze. And I remember Berahal winning those discus titles. Championship record for him. How about that for a conversion? Gold for Algeria, Mohamed Berahal, silver for Belgium, 
for once for Peter Kennan.